The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 4 and 5. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on July 10th, 1973, in London, England. Translation Here in this army there are many heroic bowmen, equal in fighting to Bhima and Arjuna. There are also great fighters, like Yuyudhana, Virata, and Drupada. So, all these heroes are mentioned, not only in these verse, in several other verses also. Now people may ask that by mentioning this uh, great fighter, uh, what spiritual progress he made. Because we are meant for chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So by chanting the names of these great fighters, what we gain? The question may be raised there. But the thing is that Nidbandi Krishna Samandi. Whenever there is connection with Krishna, uh, that also becomes uh, Krishna. This is a, a subtle form of philosophical understanding. Nirvandi Krishna Samand. If there is relationship with Krishna, uh, therefore the Sahajyas they do not read Bhagavad Gita. They say, we have nothing to do with Bhagavad Gita. They jump over to the Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto, Krishna's Raj Lila. As if Krishna is connected with Raj Lila, not with this Lila. They make distinction. Krishna's this fighting Lila, first time, and the Ras Lila, first time, they are all the same. Because Krishna is the center. Krishna being center, whatever in connection with Krishna, uh, is there, that becomes also Krishna. This is the idea. Anasaptasya viśyāṁ jatāraṁ upajinyataha nidvanda krishna sammandhi jhukta vairāgya mucchati. This is the instruction of Śrīla Rūpa Goswāmī in his Bhakti Rāsāmata Sindhu. And it's like we, in propagating Krishna consciousness, we have to deal with money or persons who are not Krishna conscious, outsider. We have to deal with them. But when you go to an outsider or when you deal with money, there is relationship with Krishna. Krishna Samanda. So, Rupa Goswami has the distinguished. A prapanchikataya buddhya hari sammandi vastuna mamukshubi parityaga phalgu vairaga kathate. Prapanchik means material. So, prapanchika taya buddhya hari sammandi vastuna. Everything has got uh, connection with Krishna. 
because ultimately everything is Krishna's energy. The material world is also manifestation of Krishna's energy. Bhumi rapa analobal is fine. Material world means these five elements, gross and subtle, earth, water, air, fire, sky, these are gross, and mind, intelligence, and ego, these are subtle. These elements, material elements, Krishna says, Vinna me pakiti astadha. These material elements, they are separated, but they are my energy. They are my energy. The same example. Just like cloud, cloud is created by the sun. It is sun's energy which creates the cloud, you know, by temperature, the sea water is evaporated, forms into gas, that is cloud. So cloud is created by the energy of the sun, but when there is cloud, you cannot see the sun. Sun is covered. Similarly, material energy is Krishna's energy. But when you become covered by this material energy, you do not see Krishna. This is the position. So, uh, we have to use our intelligence. Uh, that is described by Srila Rupa Goswami. Prapanchi kataya buddhya hari sammandi vastuna mamukshu vi parityaga. Mamukshu, the speciality mahavadi, who are after liberation, to march into the existence of the Supreme, mamuksha, moksha. Uh, they, mahavad, they say everything is māyā, uh, brahma sattva jagan mithya This world is false. Only Brahma is reality. But we say that why the jagat, the world should be false if it is coming from the reality. We do not agree with that. We do not accept that this world is false. No. We can say it is temporary manifestation. But it is not false. Why it is false? Uh, because we are living in this house. Uh, if somebody, some rascal say it is false. Why false? You are utilizing this house. You are utilizing this microphone. You are utilizing the dictaphone. Why it is false? Uh, there is samanda. There is relationship with Krishna. Uh, the, anything material made of earth, water, fire, air, they are Krishna's energies. Therefore, there is direct relationship with Krishna. And if Krishna is reality, why his energy should be false? No. Uh, we must know how to utilize it. Uh, so similarly, in this battlefield, Krishna is there, and all the living entities, some of them are soldiers, some of them are commander-in-chief, some of them this, that, all the chariots on the ground, everything Krishna's energy. Uh, so if we remember that everything is manifestation of Krishna's energy, there is no question of materialism. These are spiritual. So, Nidmanda Krishna Samman. So we have to use them for Krishna. Here, 
all of them have gathered. This is another Krishna's energy. Krishna appears, puritrana sadhuna, vinasaya suduskrita. He wanted to kill all the demons. That is another side of his business. As one side, puritrana sadhuna, to give protection to the devotees, the other side is to vanquish all the demons. Uh, just like if you want to grow paddy on the field, then first of all you have to destroy all the unwanted weeds. Uh, then uh, you grow the seeds, it will come out nicely. So these two things are required, destruction and construction. Both the things are Krishna's activities, are different energies. So you cannot accept one thing giving up the other side. We have to understand that both sides, they are working as different manifestation of Krishna's energy. parasa shakti vivida iva sriyati the Vedas it is said, that the Absolute has got multi-energies. So one energy is working in a one way, another energy is working another way. parasa shakti vivida iva sriyati sava viki jnana bala Just like here also, when we do something, we require varieties of energies to make that thing perfect. So everything, Krishna, Krishna, this material world, spiritual world, everything is working in order under different energies. So these, uh, as the warrior's name mentioning, we should not neglect. Krishna wanted to gather all the demonic power in that battlefield of Kurukshatra and kill. That was his plan. So there is a plan of Krishna. Nirmandi Krishna Sambandi. We should not be attached to things as they are. But we should try to understand that there is relationship with Krishna. And as soon as there is relationship with Krishna, we shall properly utilize it. That is Krishna Khan. As soon as we understand that there is relationship with Krishna, Nidbandha Krishna Sambandha, everything can be utilized for Krishna. Krishna is not a stereotyped stagnant block. Krishna is a dynamic force. Therefore, everything can be dovetailed in the service of Krishna. Simply one should learn the art uh, under proper guidance, how to utilize it. Uh, then that will be perfect form of Krishna consciousness. Hmm. The next verse. Translation. There are also great heroic, powerful fighters like Drishtaketu, Chekikana, Kashi Raja, Purujit, Kunti Bhoja, and Shaibya. Practically, in the battle of Kurukshetra, great personalities, warriors from all parts of the world, they came and joined. Some of them joined with this party, and others joined with the other party. Uh, so far we have studied just like Saibya, he belonged to Sivya. Uh, so all these personalities, we did not uh, give their full description, it will, it will enhance the pages. But these big personalities, uh, we have got their information. There is a book the personalities of Mahabharata. 
Bhagavad Gita is part of Mahabharata. Mahabharata means greater India. Maha means greater. And Bharat means India. So this whole planet was Bharat Varsha. Uh, there was only one flag. The whole planet was being ruled by one king. That that is the king of the Hastinapur. The fight is that who would be the king? Maharaj did he stay or Vrindyadan. But the king it is not a democracy, it is monarchy. Uh, so Krishna is deciding. No. Vidyadana is unfit. Maharaj is fit. This is Krishna's desire. Therefore this fight is there. Purukhetra uh, uh, Krishna wanted to wipe out all unwanted demands from the face of the world and uh, enthrone Maharaj Dhrishti, because he is the exact representative of Krishna. So monarchy or dictatorship is welcome. Now the communists, uh, they want uh, Dictatorship. That is welcome. Provided that, that particular dictator is trained like Maharaj Hrishti. Not that simply by votes of some rascal population one becomes dictator. Another rascal comes. Another big rascal comes. Just like in the communist country, the Stalin was their dictator. And in the historical record, it is said that he is the greatest criminal in the history of the world. Greatest criminal. Did not tolerate anyone going against him. As soon as he finds that this man is going against him, immediately call him. Now here is poison and here is resignation. Uh, killing. You take poison or I shall kill you. This was his fault. Uh, in this way he killed so many enemies. He did not only kill the Jar family. So his business was killing. Uh, not that kind of dictator she wanted. Uh, dictator she wanted that by his direction the citizens will be so happy that even they will not have any anxiety. Adhaya or badhaya. Oh, we have read the other day in the Bhagavad Simad Bhagavatam. Oh, there are three kinds of miserable condition of life. Oh, Bhūtātma hetava. The cause, they are caused by three principles. Adhyati Adi Bhoti Adi Dai. Daiva Bhutatma Hetava. These are all described in the Simadma. Daiva means controlled by the higher demigods. Just like famine or earthquake. This is not under your control. At any time, the earthquake, there may be, there may be famine, there may be pestilence. There may be natural disturbance, flood. Uh, this is called Daiva, controlled by higher demigods. Just like Indra wanted to overthrow Vrindavan, being angry upon the residence of the Krishna said, uh, Giridhari. He became Giridhari. So these disturbances there, Adhyati Adi Bhoti. But the king or the dictator should be so perfect and he'll guide the citizen in such a way 
that they will not feel all these disturbances. That kind of dictation she wants. He is directed in such a way that even this natural adhyatik adhibhauti, uh, adhibhauti means you are envious of, of me, I am envious of you. So there is always uh, cold war, a struggle. This will be stopped. There should not be unnatural heat or unnatural cold, uh, excessive heat. People will feel in all respects happy. Uh, if that condition can be brought in, like Maharaj Yudhishthira or his forefathers or even his grandson, uh, after Maharaj Yudhishthira, there was no kingdom of Maharaj, of the son of Yudhishthira Rodjan. All died in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. Only one grandson was in the womb of his mother. That's too much child. He was saved only. So up to that point, Maharaj Parikhi, the whole planet was very nicely governed by Vikti. So we can bring in such dictatorship, provided that dictator is perfectly Krishna conscious. Under his guidance, everything, because he knows uh, how to conduct kingdom, how to make everyone happy, Nidbandhe, Krishna, Samandhe. Uh. So here is another list of fighters. Uh, but the real purpose of this battlefield is to bring all the fighters, big fighters of the world together. And under Krishna's guidance, they would be all key. Nimitta Matra Bhavasampasat. When Arjuna was declining to fight, Krishna ultimately said, My dear Arjuna, you fight or not fight, it doesn't matter. These people are not going back home. It is already settled up. You simply become, take the credit that you have fought and killed. It is all, they are already killed. Because that is my plan. Nimitta Master Bhavasam Prasad. They are already killed. So, this battlefield, because Krishna wanted to kill them, and the result was he will find in the Bhagavad Gita. They all attain Sarupa. Anyone who was killed, who died in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, in the presence of Krishna, they all attain their original constitutional position, spiritual form. They all went back to home, back to God. Everyone. Therefore, Krishna is absolute, either he is killing or he is protecting, it is the all the same. So don't think that Krishna is killing. No. If anyone is killed by Krishna, he immediately gets liberation. The liberation for which great, great saintly person says they undergo severe austerities for life after life. Simply by being king, he gets that. Uh -huh. So, by becoming Krishna's enemy, one gets this benefit. Just think about if you become Krishna's friend, what is the benefit? Uh -huh. That is Krishna consciousness. Uh, the Mahabharata is there after liberation. So, this liberation is granted even to the enemies of Krishna. They are also enemies, the Mahabharis. They are also enemies. Krishna Aparadi. They are offended to Krishna because they do not accept the form of Krishna. Therefore, they are offended. So, everything studied in relationship with Krishna, that is perfect knowledge and that is described in the Bhagavad Gita. So, it is not that like Sahajyas, that we are interested in Krishna's Rasodam, 
not with this fighting, the battle kills of Kurukshastra. This is Sahajyava. This is not one thing. Thank you very much.